I saw this. That's bait. <laughs> it still is. There's a clairvoyant in Archer's chat. And now this was sent to me in DMs, and if you think the thumbnail is clickbait, watch this. Arch, what, what do you what do you know about about your good friend Klaus Schwab and the WEF? Tell me about it. Klaus Schwab is basically the dude from uh, Demolition Man. <laughs> oh yeah, like the very effect kind of. Yes, I will. I will. I will micromanage the whole world to yep. be a utopia. Uh, where's yeah, a uh, a fucking yukata? <laughs> where's a yukata? That's right. He does. He does. He <laughs> unironically <laughs> actually does. Yes. Um, <laughs> what the fuck was his name? Hey, look at Sir Humphreys. And props to those of you who get the reference. I don't remember it, to be honest. Cocktail. Pay attention to the chat on the side, by the way. But yes, that I bad man from it. Demolition Man. That's basically Klaus Schwab. That's basically, you know, you know what? I hadn't actually thought of it quite in, in that way, but it really, he really is, isn't yeah. he? Yeah, no, he I'm, I'm right on this. I, I really actually is like full on <laughs> social engineering, effeminate nonsense. Everything will be within mind, mind government. Right, right. Well, when you look at the kind of thing that, uh, the, the kind of stuff that, 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 that the right-wingers say that Klaus Schwab and the WEF want. The right-wingers? Oh, you mean that thing they literally advertise with their own name on it that anyone can read verbatim, regardless of one's own political affiliation? You mean that one? How stupid do you think the audience is that we don't see through this BS? This is cringe and embarrassing. It's the whole, you know, you will live in the pod and you will eat the boogs and no one will own anything and you're all going to be happy. And... You know, basically the conversion of our current middle class into this landless surf class that just engages in in like intergenerational um, like, like inter intergenerational borrowing, where they never they always owe the ruling class money so they can never actually get ahead and they never actually earn enough money to, to get out of debt. So like, basically like, like neo feudalism, right? That's basically what, what the w, what the oh listen to that slip up again. That's basically what what the w, what the, the right thinks the w the, the wef is up to. <laughs> yeah, sure, kid. Sounds about correct. Do you think she'll live in the pod and be happy? Yeah, yeah. the The issue ultimately is that 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 is just a communist analysis with different words. Because, the, the, like the socialists say the same thing, right? They say that the ruling class they call them the bourgeois. But basically, that they're going to use the exact same tactics against the proletariat, and it's, it's all—it's all going to be about keeping them down and keeping them, uh, basically, keeping them compliant, but also keeping them poor, and and also keeping them without ownership. So what you have is you, like, whenever I see a right winger, you know, spout off about about the new world order and the WF and all this fucking nonsense. They're making a socialist analysis. They're just not using so the same words. <sighs> okay. Flirting with the logic here, Demolition Man is a pro-commie uprising then. Any resistance or disapproval of the power apparatus in this twat's mind, especially with regards to, say, financial rigging, is instantly socialist in nature, and opposition to this entity somehow makes one a communist. Never mind the Russian Revolution, apparently the French and the American Revolution is somehow communist as well then, is it? Maybe. I'm sorry, how does me not liking a globalist oligarchical cabal make me a communist? I'm not anti-hierarchy in favor of classlessness or the abolition of private property. If I'm under a communist government, I'd have the same issues with the state as well then, you twat. What would I be then? Communist on communist? I'd be a Puritan of some sort, would I? I don't know what's worse, the laziness or the stupidity. I can't stand this discourse. This is just embarrassing. Dev has discovered that there are two flavors of socialism. International and national. Or if you want a moron, dumb and dumber. <laughs> yes, but the, the, the point is, though, is that it... The, um, the, the point is that the dissident right is much more communist than me. No one should ever listen to this man for political commentary, and judging from the chat and the comment section, people are sick of Dev and his soul suck in idiocy. The ideological labels just need to bugger off at this point. This is such a dysfunctional shit show. it's witless idiocy all around, please make it stop. I am in fact not a communist at all. I want to see you say that to a group of people without being laughed at. You keep saying this, and yet we have a video so clip of you admitting to it, Dev. 
<laughs> you mean during the D&D campaign mm -hmm. where it was a joke? I've got it on the soundboard now. <laughs> Shit. I am a communist, <laughs> after all. I can play it as much as is required. <laughs> <laughs> but no, is that going to be... Is, is that going to be, be like a dono sound, or is something you can press a button to play? I've, I'm just pressing a button to play it. <laughs> See, look, 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 one guy in the chat. It's the Jews, <laughs> not the WEF. Okay, listen, listen. <laughs> Uh, okay, listen, funny man, who says it's the Jews and not the WEF. Do you, okay, do you know why? Aside from just you know irrational racial hatred, <clears throat> do you know why the early National Socialists hated the Jews? It's because they didn't have a nation, and so they would parasitize, in their view, themselves onto other nations and extract from them the same way that the communists claim the bourgeois does. Imagine that. The, 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 there's a very strong link between these ideologies. Does it ever occur to you idiots people can see the same problem and have a different solution and it not be the same thing because the way you speak, I'm inclined to believe you, you don't. Well, yes, and uh, ironically, so it's socialism. Right-wing socialism and left-wing socialism has a great deal of overlap. I'm not gonna lie, I don't even know what these people are talking about at this point. Yes. And uh, this is also why I am not an extreme right winger nor an extreme left winger, because both sides are communist, in my opinion. Both sides are communist, in your opinion. Drop the right wing bollocks and just say socialists are slow with the communists, because that is what they are. The left and right dichotomy is just making everyone dumber at this point. <laughs> Based. Yep. Do, you go in to be direction. fair, like. To be fair, you know, when I, when I went on the reading arc post Scrump, I wanted to see what, what kind of stuff he had radicalized himself with. If the chat in the comment section on here and Twitter is anything to go by, you are not allowed to talk about radicalization, lad. And so I start going through some of the things he he uh, he publicly said he read, and he, he outright says this is right wing socialism socialism, and I'm like, oh well, okay then, that's what it is. It's it's right wing socialism, sure, okay, I understand, I, I get where he's going. Pressing X to doubt here, and no, you don't. And secondly, when did Scrum ever say this where? Where did he say he was reading right-wing socialist literature? And name what he's been reading. Your vagueness screams bait and I'm a drama-seeking shit-stirrer. I'm, I'm not saying that, Black, that BlackRock hasn't done anything wrong, all right? I understand the problem. Here's the issue, though, guys, all right? All of you guys who are pinning this on BlackRock and Vanguard and etc., how is your analysis different from the socialist one? How is it different from the leftist one? Oh, you, we're... you're both. You, seriously, you're both <laughs> shaking your fist at big corporations. You're both you're both saying that capital <laughs> is the problem. What's the difference, guys? The manner in which the capital interfaces with the state and political affairs. I would have thought that's extremely obvious by now. I mean, hell, take a look at how it interfaces in the gaming market. Is it corresponding to a market signal? No. Why do you think that is? Well, I would say that the difference is the political motivation of the capital in this case. Thank you, Arch. How do you mean? <sighs> you cannot possibly be this stupid. Um, because this is essentially a corporation so... Like, th this, this is the church, right, in the 1500s. It's an organization with such vast monetary power that it can literally influence society at large. And it has chosen to attempt to influence society at large in a political direction. And that is objectionable to me. Okay. There is room for a nuanced conversation here, so I'm going to propose an extremely radical perspective that you will likely reflexively reject because it sounds horrifying, and then you will realize, no, I'm correct, and you'll be even more horrified, and trust me, I'm no fan of this either. The vast majority of people do not have any morals or values. They're far more aligned with the political apparatus than you would care to admit to, for in the absence of religion they worship the state, and given that the state is just this entity through which nefarious forces manipulate and condition society, this is why you have a large amount of people completely swayed by the increasingly insane social changes it continues to hurt people into accepting. So with that being the basis for my thought here, forget the monetary aspect for a moment. When you say attempting to influence society in a political direction, given that I believe people are swayed by politics and power of the regime, I am far more inclined to look at the end goal of this influence rather than the methodology by which they choose to exercise the influence. 
I'm under the impression far too many people are focused on the morality of the power play rather than its effectiveness and why because they always fear this looming specter of an iron fist. And the way modern western man views power is it's always damn near the sword of Damocles. If they were doing this for purely capitalist gains and nothing else, I'd probably be like eh, meh, but since they're doing it in a way that it is in part for capitalist gains, but is explicitly political in their attempt to do so, now I object on a political basis. <sighs> Again, room for some nuance. Now one thing that I detest about, well, frankly most people, and if I go deep enough into this, it basically boils down to why are we alive, but that's a topic for another day. In the modern day, this seems to be almost exclusively consumerism. And the problem with this is, markets are not a moral force. If markets are simply they cater to the people who should be free to do whatever the hell they want, again, this is not a moral force, this is just the absence of coercion from the state. But this has no bearing on how much consumerism can denigrate and degrade the human soul. There's reasons you shouldn't screw anything with a pulse, snort, swallow, inject and smoke everything that comes your way. Now, you could make the argument that these things impede your capacity to generate capital at peak efficiency, but that makes you sound more like a cog in a machine rather than a human being with free will. So I'm not exactly a fan of using the market as a means of a moral compass for society. Well, sure. But I mean, a, a lot of what the socialists talk about isn't it, it, doesn't, it doesn't leave out the idea that capitalists also have a political motive, right? Yeah, and that political motive is fuck off taxation is gay. This, this, is, this is what I'm pointing out here. I, listen, chat, chat. I'm not even saying if you're right or wrong or Heresy if Arch is right or wrong. Fire okay, I'm not saying answer. that. <laughs> I'm simply saying you think the same way the socialists do. No, I don't. And stop telling me how I think. You hate the left, but you guys are using a leftist analysis. You just don't know it. All right? <sighs> Words cannot describe the amount of rage generated when he flexes that ego that causes every sane, sentient person to start gnashing their teeth. I like, think uh, we're uh, using more of a political analysis like, rather than a left-wing one. Well, wh wh what's the difference, really? How do people put up with this level of nitwittery? I, I don't get it. The veneer of my patience is wearing thin here. Well, the difference is you're ascribing a position to it, whereas I'm simply saying we're just using a set of tools to identify the problem. Again, thank you, Arch. And if the problem happens to be corporations, then we can still criticize them without it being a left-wing position. Can someone explain to me how the hell criticizing an entity of capitalism automatically makes you a left-winger? Or doing so is something only a left-winger can do, apparently. I don't understand how this distinction has manifested itself in any political discourse. I don't like lobbying. Am I a communist now, am I? Oh, sure, sure. There's definitely, like, a, a right-wing way to criticize corporations. It's called right-wing socialism. I don't agree with the idea of calling it socialism, though. <laughs> I, I uh, think I'm, we're, we're... I'm, I'm trolling. I'm trolling. But no, but no. The, the point, the point is though, and this is like this is why I think the chat is just fucking going wild right now and seething. <laughs> no, the reason the chat is seething is because their patience is being tested because they can't tell if you're trolling or you're an idiot, or very likely just a trolling idiot. It's it's because well, like okay, Fire I've you know answer. I sat down and I watched I watched like a Sargon segment and then I watched a Vosh segment. And they said the exact same fucking thing with different words, and then they blamed each other for the problem they were fingering. And I'm like, this is kind of incredible to see sometimes. You know what I mean? Where like, you know, the conservative talks about family and communities and how big business comes in and destroys them, and 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 you know how like traditional family bonds are eroded by people who who care nothing about the local culture and only chase money. And then you get like a communist who will say, well, you know, our local community is being destroyed by the fat cat capitalist with, with his capitalist interest. Where he, and he, and he, he, he destroys, you know, the poor working class. Like the same people are way more alike than they are different in the end. Okay, so in your mind, the alike is spotting a problem, which is apparently also exclusively a socialist capability. Now, given that there exists a distinction of right versus left, would you mind telling us what that thing is then? Because if you say there isn't a difference, well, then that just makes the right and left labels redundant then, doesn't it? Furthermore, just because both people can spot the problem doesn't mean they are politically aligned in any way. 
Their solutions are damn near guaranteed to be different. Hell, there's a good chance the cause of the problem won't be the same either. Ah, uh, this is too long already, and my comment section is going to hate me enough for doing this already. So, cheers for watching, and once again, I apologize for nothing.